So you headline a show in Moscow with 22,000 people? I didn't headline it, it was just a solo show that I had. Oh, you had a solo show yeah. with 22,000 people in Moscow? A week ago, yeah. And I'm having 13 others, it's all stadiums right now in Russia, so it's pretty big. Don't want to brag, oh. but like, you know. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is what it is. Yeah, man. You know, it's dope. I never thought that, Ru that Russia would really embrace hip-hop like that. Uh, right now, hip-hop is the main music in Russia. It, we have overtaken rock a long time ago, and now we're huh. overtaking pop. You know, so, and that's mostly done not through TV or radio, it's all through YouTube and, and social media. So it's almost like a revolution of, of music going on. Everyone listens to hip-hop, you know, and it's going to grow further. It's a huge market. Okay. Now, when you were first starting hip-hop, mm -hmm. you know, at like 15 or 16, you mentioned that people, that other Russians were accusing you of trying to act black. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, generally Russian rappers had that accusation a lot, you know. Um, why don't you do something which is more um, resembling of your own culture, you know, why do you want to be like someone else? And I mean, I guess there was a kind of, maybe not the acting black, but, you know, acting foreign. There was a certain element of truth in it because... When you're a teenager, you emulate your idols, you know, and our idols were the same ones that you had over here, you know, Biggie, Pac, and, you know, my, my personal idol was Big L in terms of rhyming, you know. Um, so there was an element of that, but then again, people really didn't see the, the kind of, um, the potential that rap has in Russia or had in Russia, because Russia is a very language-based culture, you know, we are very kind of verbal centric if that word exists or whatever you know um so we, we love words and wordplay and all that so it was only natural that hip-hop as soon as it grew a bit became the main the main music of the country because um you know as soon as we sort of stopped trying to be what we were not i think everyone goes through that phase you know uh people were still not taking rap seriously until about 2014 2015 that was pretty much the year when everything changed and now people are definitely taking us seriously. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's almost like um, it's a weird kind of feeling because people have been telling us, you know, it, in our rap subculture in Russia for years that, you know, we'll never make it, you know, we, we are just copies of the West and blah, blah. And now all the same people come back and, and have offers and, you know, sponsorship deals. And it's almost like, fuck you, not you personally. Where were you before? Do you know what I mean? So, um, but it, it feels good. I won't lie. Well, I mean, I think the same thing happened in the UK. Because mm. originally, when Absolutely. UK rappers, yes. they started they started rapping with American accents. Yeah. And Look, everyone skeptical. thought it was yep. kind of whack. And then yep. once, once you know, kind of grime came together. Exactly. And people started rapping in English accents and kind of using their own type, you know, beats and sound. That's when you saw UK rap start yeah, to take Yeah, I, I think Skepta's story is fascinating because he, uh, I mean, you know, he said it himself that he was trying to kind of break into the American market and, and you know, trying to maybe dress and act more like the Americans and no one really fucked with it because why would you want another American rapper for, you know, mm. from, from the UK, pseudo-American rapper. And then as soon as he dropped that and, and came back to his root, uh, roots, you know, tracksuit bottoms, uh, you know, heavy grime, people in America started to, to become interested. And, and I think that's a very inspirational story for all of us, you know, outside of America. Because, I, you know, there's a kind of stereotype and I'm kind of playing into that stereotype, you know, uh, or playing with that stereotype in the disaster battle, talking about you know, how Americans see the rest of the world, that Americans are not really interested in outside cultures. I think that's actually shifting a lot right now. I think you, know, uh, you have a better chance of, uh, of impressing people in the US when you're just being yourself, bringing in, you know, your own culture uh, and, and musical background with you. So that, that's dope, you know? Well, you know, one of the regular guests on Vlad TV is Lord Jamar. I love that. I, I love the conversations you guys are having. Okay. You know, I've, I've been for, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, I've been following Vlad TV for a long time, you know, so it's, it's crazy okay. for me to be, to be here. I'm probably about eight years or something, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, one of, one of the things that he said that sort of upset a lot of people, and it'd be interesting to see how you react to it mm -hmm. as, as a foreigner, yeah. is that he said that... White rappers, you're coming to this almost as a guest, okay? Matter of fact, you are guests in the house of hip hop. Just because you have a hit record doesn't give you the right, <laughs> as I feel, to voice your opinion. What do you think? Um, yes and no. Uh, I would say yes because to me, and I have friends who disagree with that, we actually had a, lo a lot of conversations after you and Lord Jamar debated. Um, I would say that, you know, hip-hop is black music. 
I don't think there's any doubt about that. And, and for us growing up with the music that we grew up with, it is and remains black music at its core. Um, does that mean that, you know, we have to kind of uh, tread lightly on tiptoes every time we rap, you know, because we are not black? Absolutely not. You know, um, I grew up with hip hop. I'm a hip hop kind of guy. I think if you grow up with hip hop since you're 13, then you really are a part of it, you know? Um, I'm not sure about the guest bit, right? I'm not sure about that, but I'm definitely certain about the fact that, uh, you know, we are, you know, white people or whatever, any other, doesn't matter whether it's white or any other nationality, doing a type of music um, that, you know, we were not born into. Because my parents didn't listen to that, right? My parents listened to Russian rock. So, um, and, and at the end of the day, we're, we're making money with this music, right? So, so we need to uh, respect where it came from. I think that's very, very important. And, and it's not just empty chat, you know, I think that's, that's a very important factor. Um, and you kind of need to understand, you know, the, uh, the certain, you know, problematic issues that exist w within that whole culture in the US, etc. However, Russian hip-hop is a different story altogether, you know, um, because uh, obviously Russia is, I don't know, mostly white, even though actually, uh, let me correct myself, uh, people don't seem to realize Russia is actually very mixed. When I say mostly white, it's probably not even that accurate because, you know, we have large parts of the country that if you would meet these people, you probably think they, they're Asian, you know, Chinese, you know, we have a lot of Muslims, you know, uh, you know, eth ethnically diverse Muslim population in Russia. So it's, it's very, very mixed. But um, at the same time, you know, there's not a lot of black people in Russia. I mean, the, right. uh, to, to be honest, like in terms of rap music, there's only a few uh, black Russian rappers, you know, and uh, uh, one of them, I'm not going to, you know, say his name so that he's not upset, but he was terrible. He was one of the first people to do it. Um, and then we have a few who are young and, and, you know, some of them are very, very dope, but it's, it's a tiny percentage. It's a tiny fraction. Everyone else, you know, is uh, from different backgrounds, but, but not black. So obviously, you know, some of the problems uh, with culture appropriation and all that stuff that, you know, may be uh, important for the US market or US culture, we don't really have that, if you see what I mean.